My name is Kevin Cole. I'm the director of cardiopulmonary here at Adventist Health Clear Lake Hospital. Uh, I'm a respiratory therapist by training. I've worked for Adventist Health for 31 years now. Um, I've been here at Adventist Health Clear Lake for the last 12 years. Adventist Health Clear Lake specifically is a 25 bed critical access hospital. Uh, which is a designation the federal government gives to smaller hospitals that are in rural areas. I think one of the biggest benefits is the size because uh, when you walk down the hallways, everybody knows your name. It's very familiar. Um, you have in the respiratory field specifically, we have such a wide variety of stuff we do, including uh, in the ED department, ICU, med surge, and then also we have a very active women's care uh, unit where so we see a lot of deliveries, C-sections, things like that. So there's a, a wide variety of stuff that we do here as respiratory therapists at Adventist Health Clear Lake. As the director of cardiopulmonary, I love interacting with my staff and giving them the tools they need uh, to be the best they can be in their role as a respiratory therapist. Uh, the thing I love about having students um, doing their rotations with us, specifically this San Joaquin Valley College uh, respiratory therapy students, is that they're entering the field and are very curious and wanting to learn and um, proactive about giving new ideas that they're seeing in school or out in literature that they're reading about. And I love having that interaction with my staff. You need to have your ACLS, BLS, PALS, and NRP. That's a basic certification that you need to be able to be a respiratory therapist here at Adventist Health Clear Lake, as well as obviously a state licensure. Um, for being a respiratory therapist. San Joaquin Valley College Respiratory Therapy Program has been a great uh, partnership for us is because you know some of their students that have come through their rotations or have talked to people who have, have been students and come through our, their rotation here um, hear about us and how great a place it is to work. And so then I'm getting applications from the college of people even that haven't been here because of what they heard from their cohorts. One of the things that I look for in an interview process is um, how they interact with people. So part of my interview process is um, introducing them to my staff that are working that day, uh, walking down the hallways and obviously I give a tour during the interview process of the hospital but part of that is how do they interact when I introduce them to a doctor, to a housekeeper, to a CNA, to a nurse? How is their interaction with that person that they don't know, you know? And so that gives me a, a little bit more of an insight into who they are and how they interact with people. I believe in looking for people that are quality people. Most of the graduates that I get from SJVC, um, they are quality people um, and they know the knowledge. You know, there's a lot of um, base knowledge that they learn at SJVC that works well and translates out into the work environment. When I've had needs and multiple needs. They, they've been very helpful at getting me in contact with prospective uh, employees um, and things like that. I think that's worked out very well. SJVC has been a, a great partner uh, with Adventist Health Clear Lake as far as getting us students coming through rotations as well as uh, applicants for when they're graduated. And I really, really appreciate our, our partnership in that way.